Hey y'all warriors, what's up? It's Leanna back with another video. So I just wanted to come on here and say, whenever my people find me and start watching these videos, thank you from the bottom of my heart because my dream is to help as many people and serve as many people as I can and in a capacity of somebody with a chronic illness doesn't know what steps to take or if they have been told what steps to take they just they don't believe it and they want to find somebody that's lived through it instead of just taking somebody's expert advice so if that's you dm me you know text me shoot up an email whatever you want to do my info is down in the description box but I want this to reach as many people as possible. I want the person sitting by her, your, the person who is you sitting by yourself in your living room, like at 2 a.m. You know, I've been there. I've done it. Uh, maybe you're drinking. Maybe you're not. Maybe you're smoking. Maybe you're not. Um, I was doing both. Um, you know, not sleeping all. Not sleeping like I should. And I don't know if that, uh, the doctor said that that doesn't, you know, cause any harm, but I believe that living a bad lifestyle in your heart, meaning that I never did anything. I never really broke the law intentionally. I never, um, you know, I didn't do these terrible things to other people. I did terrible things to myself. And that is something that I can't take away. But I can let everybody else know that it's there, it's out there. And this is not something I want to turn into a movement or anything like that, but it's something that I I want people to understand. One person, if one person is hurt, when two people are hurting, one person hurting, you know, I mean, whoever it is, but small numbers that you can see right now, four people or less, if even one person is hurting. Now, I'm not a medical professional, not a medical professional, but I know what it feels like. I wouldn't wish chronic illness or mental health, um, or I mean, or mental illness on my worst enemy. It is terrible to not wake up in the morning and to not feel like you could stand up and take on the day. I wake up in pain every day. I am in pain all day, every day, and it's getting worse. As the months roll by, it gets worse and worse and worse. I have almost constant back pain. My legs have now started aching and aching. Um, and I go to stand up and I just, I groan and I moan. And I know my mom's tired of hearing it, but I can't help it. It hurts so damn bad. I have no strength in my hands and in my arms. I can barely do the steps and you know I mean I I know I've got to get more exercise and we're working on that it was really you know it's it's pretty hard to do though I'll be honest with you it's really difficult to do you have to pretty much just make yourself do it so I will be making myself do it I do get up and move around every day that is something that I know I must do and I do do that uh, I haven't been wearing my watch or I'd be paying attention to the steps. I do get over um, 2,000 steps, which you have to understand for me, the past five years, I have gotten really like 750 to 1,000 steps when I was uh, when I was going through heart failure. Not even that. I was pretty much, you know, in the bed. And, um, and so now uh, re reconditioning myself although it's gone on a little bit now, um, getting 1,500, 1,750, 2,000 steps, 2,500 steps, and it, it goes up. I mean, it's it's not like every day I only get, you know, 2,000 steps. Um, but it's it's hard. It's hard to do, and it's hard on me to do. I just hurt and ache. Like, I, you know how you feel when you got the flu? that achy feeling that goes across your back and down your back and across your neck, 
I feel that way all the time, every day. And I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. And I have people that are very close to me that I have to watch go through it. I wouldn't wish it on anyone. Nobody. So, if you have a chronic illness, you, one person, one, if you have a chronic illness, I'm talking to you. You have me in your corner. You can private message me. You can email message me. You can shout from the rooftops or shout it in a whisper, and I will hear you, and I will be here for you. I'm not a medical professional, not a therapist, not even a licensed counselor or social worker, not even a freaking nurse, but I am somebody with experience and with and I am somebody that knows what it feels like. I am somebody that can confirm and validate your feelings. I am somebody that can listen without sitting in judgment and saying, no, it's all in your head. I am somebody that can understand where you're coming from. So uh, what I can do is be a sounding board and I can offer validation and maybe a little bit of education and a little bit of comfort with words. So reach out. There are people there. If not me, you I guarantee you have someone in your life you could go to. Please don't wait, especially if you're fighting depression or anxiety. Don't wait. Go find someone to talk to now. So I hope whoever is there that needs this message, I hope you receive the message. And if you're finding this in the future, I hope that it stays. And it, it stays on my page. And it stays, you know, there for people to come and find. I'll put it in the spot for the trailer. I mean, you know. I want you. I want people to see this. I want people to know that this goes on. This is kind of like um, it's a hidden thing, although it's getting more prevalent now. I'll have to look up the statistic, and I will put it in the description box. I believe that it's two thirds of the population are chronically ill. That's a lot of freaking people that are in pain every day, or too tired to do anything to enjoy their life. That's just sad. It's very, very sad. It's as sad as somebody having to live through, uh, you know, somebody that verbally or physically um, or emotionally abuses them. It's that's sad as well. Only that's criminal, and the person has to get out. You, you got to find help for this too. This this could mean your life as well. If you are depressed and you are not, you do not have any treatment. You don't. You're not in treatment. This could mean your life. Don't mess with it, please. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up, but better yet, subscribe so that you can hear more pearls of wisdom from me <laughs> and click the bell so that you're notified for those pearls of wisdom. And, um, you know, subscribe right in the comments. Um, let me know if I've helped you in any way. So, but that's all from me. And I will talk to you later.